everyone, it's Sharana from Pay or Wait, and today I'm going to be doing a live trailer reaction to the Dark Phoenix trailer 2 that came out yesterday. You know what? I just had a horrible day yesterday. Still having a horrible day today. Got a flat tire. Devil is trying me, testing me, rent is due. Like, ooh, I just can't take it. But since I can't drive to work right now, I figure I might as well go ahead and do this trailer reaction. So let's go ahead and get to it. Why did you make me do that? Look, Look at me. me. Focus, Focus on, on my voice. voice. I'm, I'm not giving, giving up, up on you, Jean. She was my friend. friend. You're my family, Jean. Stop. No matter what. Stop. 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 Look. You're special, Jean. And if you stop fighting that force inside you, if you embrace it, you will possess the very power of a god. Oh, they scared? Shock it as well. Fix this Charles. Tell me what to do. I don't know what to do. No, they don't understand. What they fear and what they fear. We seek to destroy. No I know. This is your fault, Charles. I fight to protect her. I'm scared. And when I lose control, bad things happen to people I love. The girl dies. She's still Jean. We can still help her. Sometimes, you want to believe people are something that they are not. And every time you realize who they are... It's too late. Well, all right, okay. That was a lot, y'all. Do you feel as though there was like a little bit too much given away? I felt as though as how they started the beginning of the trailer as Mystique is trying to um, calm Jean down um, as she is the Phoenix. I just felt like they like had that whole conversation and then she cried like, why did you make me do that? And then I was like, girl, I don't know what the hell they made you do, but I feel bad for you, but I was like, then it cuts to this funeral. I'm like, damn, did she kill Mystique? Because we already know that there were the rumors that Jennifer Lawrence really doesn't want to do this anymore. And I'm like, girl, get, let somebody put me in a little suit playing Mystique. Give me all my coins, okay? I'm gonna do whatever you guys need me to do. But I feel as though maybe that was Mystique that was in the grave. Um, we know in the comics that Mystique is the one who actually takes um, takes Jean in for a while and kind of helps raise her as she's like a little villain thing thing. But yeah, I just, I don't know. But what I have to say is this movie is getting so much hate, y'all. It's getting so much hate and I'm just like, we haven't even seen the movie. The movie has not even come at, come out yet. Like everyone is basing this off of speculation and rumors of what they said. They did the test screens and it was so horrible that they didn't change date 15 million times. I'm just like, y'all, I know that no one has ever done right by us with a good Jean Grey story, especially when she turns into Phoenix, okay? It's never been done right on the big screen. So I understand why you might wanna believe that it's automatically going to be bad, but can't we just give a movie a chance? Can we go see it first? What y'all really need to be diverting your attention to right now, the most important thing about these movies? Can we talk about who is in charge of hair? That's what y'all really, you know what, this whole thing about y'all saying Dark Phoenix is bad, it's, it's making y'all miss the real issue on why can't nobody get no good wig in these movies? Case in point, Mystique. What happened? 
man, there are too many hair accounts that are following me on Instagram. There are too many people selling lace front wigs for the low low to let me know that you can't get a good enough wig to have a nice little slick back, okay? I just don't understand why we are taking like 20 steps back when we got all this good weave technology in the world right now. Storm! Ugh. Storm been making me mad since back when Halle Berry was Storm, okay? Because the wigs are never where they're supposed to be. Can we just get a lace front wig? Can we stop having these cheap wigs? I got all this money for these effects. And can't nobody get no good wig nowhere? That's the real issue, okay? While y'all talking about how bad this movie is and ain't nobody seen it, we need to be talking about what is going on with the hair, with the wigs. Who do we need to get to do a good lace front installation on these people to make sure that they're looking top notch in these movies? But I'm still going to keep an open mind for Dark Phoenix. I'm going to go see it. I'm going to welcome it with open arms. I'm going to forget the apocalypse even happened. I'm just going to be like, you know what? Maybe this time, maybe with everyone trying to drag them, maybe they will take the time to give us the Phoenix that we so need and deserve, okay? So let me know what you guys thought on this trailer. Did they give too much away? Do you think that it was Mystique who died? I don't know. I'm starting to think that maybe that was Mystique who was in the little funeral. It could be a flashback, could be a dream. We don't know. But let me know if you're excited to see Dark Phoenix. Please let me know in the comment section what did you think about the trailer. Um, how do you feel about this wig situation that is really important that we probably need to create a PSA for. But those are my thoughts on the Dark Phoenix trailer number two. As always, my name is Sharana from Pay Your Weights. And if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with your friends, and make sure you hit that notification bell. And I will see you soon.